Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy at Linux. And yes, friends, I am on the heels of my video on my Bash RC. And I thought to myself, what is next? Let's talk about Tilex. As I have said a million times, I am just a guy. I am no expert on anything. Uh, when it comes right down to it, I like Tilex because I like Tilex. Um, is it one of those things where it does not have a configuration file? Probably. I like to just go into, and this is weird because I use configuration files all the time, but I, for my terminal, I don't know why I don't like to go in and make changes to a configuration file. I just simply like to use the settings for it and go from there. So let's talk about the settings for a minute. So I'm gonna go into profiles and edit profile and you'll see all the preferences that you have here. But what I'm gonna do is reset the entire thing. Now, here's a weird thing. There's no button that says reset back to default. So how do you do it? I'm using DWM and if I was using the GNOME desktop environment, which is what Tilex is built for, I would probably have a different answer or the package is already installed. But for me, I need dconf editor. So what I have to do is say sudo apt install dconf editor. Okay, now I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna open up Rofi and go to the dconf editor and say yes, I will be very careful. Okay, in order to do what I'm looking to do, which is basically reset the Tilex configuration, I have to go into com, G experts, and now with Tilex, I just have to reset. So I'm right clicking and reset recursively and hit apply. Notice everything that just happened over here. It completely got reset, okay? So let's reload and close. And now we are back to a, you know, right out of the box, this is what Tilex looks like. I bet you can guess what the very first thing I'm gonna do is. If you said change the font size, you would be correct. So I'm gonna go into the terminal over here, the pull down and go into profiles and edit the profile. And now I'm gonna choose custom font. And for me, my favorite for the terminal is sauce. And then I just say, REG for the Nerf font regular, and this is the second one down is using the mono. And so I'm gonna bump this up to about 20 so people can see and hit select. And there you go, that's the first thing I'm gonna do, okay? Now while I'm on this page, I might as well make the other change, and that is to change the cursor to underline. This, again, personal preference here. Text blink always is already on, so that's good. And I am going to color next. Now, let me just say this about color. I use the theme colors because I think it looks consistent. Um, and in, if you are interested, this is the same theme that I use during my installation script for DWM, and it is the Colloid Dark GTK theme, okay? Now, if I change the transparency, it's not gonna do anything. Now, the reason why is because I'm using the text editor micro and it doesn't this particular color scheme does not have a transparent background so most of you who use micro the few of you that do <laughs> know the answer to this question but if you change the color scheme to simple uh, it does have a transparent background let me just show you really quickly so I mean, I'm going to close this and I'm going to say uh, control E to get into the micro um, command and say set color scheme. And then if I hit the space and then hit the tab, I can cycle through all the colors. By the way, I'm currently using Gotham as my color scheme, which is my favorite, but I'm gonna go all the way to simple and hit enter. And now you can see the transparency. In fact, actually, let me bump up the transparency a little bit more so you definitely can see that. So color, and I'm gonna throw all the transparency at this. Again, I am not a big fan of this particular color scheme, so I am just gonna make it a little bit more transparent, or I mean less transparent, I should say, and then I'm gonna turn it back to Gotham. Okay, and there we go. 
Now, I don't use Tilex like this, but I am going to show you because generally I take this whole top bar off uh, because I'm using a tiling window manager. And I want it to be as sparse as possible. And I also change key bindings so that it works for me. And again, I am going to show you that. However, there is a big old plus sign here. What does that do? It creates a new session. All right. So if I hit plus, so I can basically say, all right, well, where's the other one? It's in this pull down here, all right? And I can switch between the two simply by selecting one or the other. And so you can have as many as you want here. Uh, probably not as many as you want, but still you get the idea. You can have several um, sessions going simultaneously. Now, obviously you can see that you can close the terminal here or the session, I should say. Now, what do these things do here? So I can add a terminal to the right so it splits it. Now for all you Tmux users, don't hate me for this. This is what it looks like to me, okay? So, and I don't understand Tmux at all. So there you go. Um, also, you can simply click on the, what is this? Add terminal down. So between that, you can kind of like create your own tiling terminal, all right? So most of you are going, Drew, genuinely hate the fact that I can't get between the two sessions without like using a mouse. Well, you can. Um, you use the control page up or page down, and then you're just toggling between any of them. So you get the idea that there are key bindings here. And this is where I start going off the rails and I start talking about how I set up Tilex. Also, you notice that there are the three dots here and you can go into shortcuts or preferences. And it's basically just a different starting point, okay? Because once I go into appearance and I go into the window style and I say hide the toolbar, okay? Now, I kind of vacillate between disable CSD hide toolbar and borderless, but generally I go like this also let me go ahead and stop at that point. So I'm going to close this and then now I'm going to uh, close the terminal and let's reopen the terminal. Okay, so now that that triple dot is gone. So I guess that's why I use this profiles editor. And it's again, it's, a, it's the same menu. It's just a different starting point. Most people have noticed this triple dot over here. It basically allows you to get to the preferences, which is part of the settings, and you can get to it a number of different ways. Now I am gonna go back down to default, and the only thing that I am going to change also is showing the scroll bar. Now there are a, hu a slew of people that, in, that want the scroll bar there, okay? I just don't happen to be one of them, so I'm turning it off, okay? Now I'm gonna go to appearance. And generally what I do is I go to disable CSD and hide the toolbar. So what am I losing when I do that? I'm losing this plus, I'm losing the session sidebar, okay? And I'm gonna be losing these two, but not really, because I can right click and still um, add a terminal right and a terminal down, okay? However, um, this is probably the biggest feature that you're going to miss, this session sidebar, but not really. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to close, sorry, I'm going to turn this dis disable CSD hide toolbar. I'm going to change this to tab bottom, and I'm going to click on use tabs instead of that sidebar. And I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to close the terminal. And let's go ahead and just reopen the terminal. So now those things are gone, okay? So we're gonna go step by step through this and I am gonna go into the profiles, edit profile and shortcuts. Now, with regard to sessions, I don't want two modifiers here. I generally want one. So instead of control alt T, okay, I'm just gonna say use control for all of my session work. And I am gonna be very unpopular here, but I use a number pad on all my keyboards. 
And so this is something that you're gonna have to adjust if you don't, okay? But what I do is I say control plus. Okay, control and then the plus on my number pad. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down here and instead of control shift Q, I'm gonna say control and then the minus key on my number pad. Okay, let me, let's just start there. And I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna say control plus. And notice there are two tabs here now. Okay, so that's the, the two things. So I'm just gonna keep going. I can go, there's uh, four different sessions of terminal right there. And when I want to remove one, I can just go control minus, 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 and I'm back to just one session. So let me add a couple more back, all right? And if I want, I can use the control page up or page down to cycle through these, okay? Now I, again, will change the shortcut for this. It's all the way down in Windows, window, I should say, and control right here, switch to next session. So I'm just gonna use uh, control left, or sorry, right arrow, and the previous one, control left arrow. That's it, okay? So it's easy for me to remember left and right rather than page up and page down, especially when I'm using tabs, okay? So now when I go uh, control right, right, or left, left, it's switching between them. So actually, you know what? Let's just open B top here so that we have something running. And then um, let's go to the next one and just say, um, go to my suckless DWM directory, okay? And while I'm here, let's double click and just say B top right here. And let's double click and say uh, DWM config session. Okay, and double click, it doesn't even matter what's here. All right, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep it terminal right there. So I can switch between these though, easily by going control left and right. And you get the idea that it, this is a lot more, I don't know, for me, it's more usable. Now, because I haven't really talked about adding terminals to the main window, you know, like both horizontal and vertical splits, Let's talk about that now. So if I go to profiles and look at the shortcuts, currently if I add a terminal automatically, it's control alt A. Now, I kind of want to just keep it simple. So since we're using control as the modifier for tabbed sessions, let's just use alt for terminal sessions. I guess that's the best way to do it. So if I double click on this and I just say Alt A for automatic, okay? And now if I, now what I wanna do is actually, we're gonna change some things around. So stay with me, Alt down arrow, and I know that it, there is a switcher here. So I will get to that in a minute. So let's, let's just say, okay, Alt down and Alt right if we want to split right, okay? So let's just see how that works for right now. But I do want to be able to close the session. Now, if I look at this close terminal, control, alt, w, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go alt and then the minus sign, like, cause we were using the control minus sign to close um, the tab. Let's use the alt minus sign to um, close the terminal. And actually, you know what we should do? We should make this consistent. So if I add a terminal automatically, I should be Alt plus, okay? So let's see how this fares. I'm gonna close this and we're gonna go Alt plus, Alt plus, Alt minus, Alt minus. And that seems reasonable to me. What do you guys think? Now I'm thinking that the only two things that I wanna add is a way to uh, quickly switch between the terminals within the main screen and then maybe resize. Now, I think you can pretty much do it. So I'm gonna go Alt plus and plus again. And I think you can use your mouse to definitely change 
But if you want to use key binds for that, let's let's see if we can make that smart. Uh, edit profile, go down to shortcuts, and uh, switching to the terminal. Now we disabled this, so I want to just say um, I use shift and another modifier to switch between things in my regular um, window managers. So since we're using terminals here, it's going to be alt shift and then down. So let's go alt shift down. Okay. And so I use control for this. So again, this is something that I would change. So uh, switch to the left. Let's go uh, alt shift left. Get that. Alt shift right and alt shift up and so we also want to um, change the size oh where is that sorry hold on resize there we go resize terminal down so all these things that are uh, disabled so I'm gonna go um, Control Alt down, and then Control Alt left, Control Alt right, and Control Alt up. Now again, these are things that uh, are completely for you as a user. So uh, for me, this makes sense. I can just go uh, Control Alt left, or right, and as well as up and down. There you go. Okay, so, um, and then Alt minus to remove these. I like the way this works, guys, I really do. And if you, hopefully you got a little bit out of this. Frankly, I was not expecting a whole lot of eyeballs on the Bash RC video I did a couple days ago. It got pretty good. I, I mean, I thought that it was only going to get a few people looking at it, and it got more than that. So with this, I kind of thought, well, it's in the same ballpark. Who knows? Maybe somebody would like this one as well. So I hope to see you soon, and see you later.